It was horrible house. Um, is this all, it was haunted, wow. actually. No, honestly. No, not honestly. It wasn't haunted. There's no such thing as ghosts. So, those, the, so you saying honestly it was haunted means fuck all. It's the most. It's the weirdest place and weirdest sensation I've ever had. I spoke to a woman called Mrs. Battersby. Right. Uh, who sat on my bed keeping me up all night. My mum came up, she said, you look shattered. I said, yeah, I haven't had a kip all night. She said, why? I said, I've been talking to Mrs. Battersby. She said, who's that? I said, no, oh, some old woman. Now, I can't remember it now, but that's what I did then. And then... Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, so Mrs. Battersby didn't exist, is that what you're saying? She was the ghost? Yeah. It wasn't the landlady? No, there's no landlady. It's a big house, about, right. about 12 bedrooms in it. Right. Dead, dead cheap to stay there, because it was a wreck. My were you dad ill? Went were out you ill? Night. Did you have flu at the no, time? No, I had nothing like that. I just... So you were sitting up, but you were awake... And you were having a conversation with Mrs. Battersby. Mm. <laughs> what did she look like? I can't remember. I can't even remember having the chat now. Right, but so... at the time, I was like, oh, she just doesn't shut up. Chatting all night. So you don't remember this happening? Or you do remember it happening? No, I remember that, like, if I see my mum now and I mention St. Ives, she'll go, oh, yeah, Mrs. Battersby. She remembers coming in, because she was older than me, wasn't she? So to Who? her, my mum. Was she? Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Battersby. She was older than both she of you. She was older because I'm calling her Mrs. Battersby. If she was my age, I'd probably say, "Oh, it's Susan or whatever." Right, sure. You call Batter older people Batter by the surname, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Uh, anyway, so she kept oh, me up all night. You know, I'm thinking of pictures at the wedding. Uh, why do you have to go through other things to just have a memory? How old do you reckon you why were? Do, why, I don't understand why you haven't got direct access to your memories. How old do you reckon you were? Uh. Your mum was older, though, yeah? You must have a vague idea of when this well, event was. I'm thinking about it now, I'm thinking. Okay. I'm, I'm picturing the picture of myself at this wedding. OK. And how old are you? What are you doing? How tall I'd say you? I look about... How were you? Uh, uh, about, I'd say well, I look about seven or eight, looking at the picture. Right, OK. <laughs> yeah. Right, OK. So Mrs Battersby is chatting away to you. You don't remember what she said, but you do remember having the conversation. No, he doesn't remember it at no, all. I don't remember the chat now. Well, then so, why are you telling us? You must your remember memory. it because you're telling us about it's not it. Your because memory. it's a memory. My mum's reminded me of it. Yeah, but all it says is, oh, this is so far removed. This is hearsay that your mum said you spoke to a ghost once and you don't even remember the ghost. Mrs. But... Battersby. No, yeah, you no, remember you the don't name, remember her. because your mum reminded you of it. In a court of law, if there was a ghost court, they go hearsay, thrown out of court. Right. You yeah. don't have a memory of Mrs. Battersby. No, look, I know that when I was a kid, yeah. I had a beetle. I ate a beetle because I thought it was licorice. Now, I can't remember that now. You can't remember that, but you you know it happened because your mother told you it happened. Exactly. Right. <laughs> but the fundamental thing is that we can believe... It remembers. It we remembers. can believe. Amazing. We can believe you ate a beetle, right, because that is something that could happen in real life. But what we're questioning is that you spoke to a ghost. <laughs> I thought it was licorice. Uh, what sort of beetle was it? Just one of them standard beetles, just a black shiny one. <laughs> 